Welcome friends. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about shading. Shading is very important in your animation and let's see how it works. First of all, we'll place some objects. Let's make a cube, a box, a sphere. and a cone. And along with that, a cylinder. That is it. So, as you can see, there are some objects. We want to move the sphere a little bit so that that is it. Now let's go ahead and insert a plane. Just have to do this. If you're running on a low configuration hardware, then this may take time and your screen will become buzzy. As you can see, when we move our perspective, the shadow is changing and this happens because it's obvious that if you see the object from different angle, the shadow has to change. This happens because our perspective is set to realistic. If we go there and click on shaded, you'll see now there is no shadows over there. And our perspective view becomes lighter. So I'll recommend you to use the shaded perspective if you're running on a low configuration hardware. You can also choose from shaded to edge faces. In this way, it is shaded plus edge faces so that you can know all these edge faces and construct your model accordingly. If you don't want the shaded, just uncheck that. These are consistent colors if you want to. Then there are a number of others like clay bounding boxes, wireframe which comes handy color pencil which may take time to render as you can see it looks like someone has drawn it with color pencil in this way you can change the perspectives and add or remove shadows and make it lighter to work with. Thank you.